Hi, this is Todd Lusk, the Pedantic Geek. In my last two math videos, I first showed you how to find smaller prime numbers using a sieve of Aristophanes. In my second video, I showed you how to use those numbers we found in the sieve of Aristophanes to determine if a larger number is prime or composite. In this video, we're going to use these same principles to find the prime factors of a larger number. The number should be relatively familiar to you. In the last video, we used the number 997 and used that to determine if it was prime or composite. Well, we determined it was prime. In this case, we're going to use the number 996. Now, you will notice that the number 37 I have written to the side. If you remember from my last two math videos, the largest prime number that you have to use to check to see whether a number is prime or composite is the lowest prime number whose square exceeds that of the number you're trying to check. In this case, it's 37. Now you notice that 996 is even. So we'll factor that out, and that leaves 2 times 498. Now the number to check in this case, or the highest number to check, would have to be 23. You'll notice 498 is even in and of itself. So that leaves 2 times 2 times four, 249. And in this case, the largest number, largest prime we'd have to work up to is 17. Now, 249 is not divisible by 2, but 249 is divisible by 3. You will notice that if you split the numbers into 24 and 9, each of these numbers is divisible by 3. This, is an in, this would indicate that 249 is divisible by 3. In fact, it is, and it's divisible by 3 in this way. You would be left with 83. So the prime numbers we have determined so far are 2, 2, and 3. Now we have to determine if 83 is prime or composite. Now you'll notice that the largest, number, largest prime number we have to use to check is the number 11. Now, let's go, through, let's go through the steps. Now, 83 is not divisible by 2. It is not divisible by 3. It is not divisible by 5, nor 7, and finally, 11. This leaves us with the, the prime factorization, as you see here, 2, 2, 3, and 83. Now, you can rewrite this in shorthand, like so you will notice that I have written this quantity 2 squared multiplied by 3 to the first multiplied by 83 to the first. Now, this square right here indicates that there are two 2's in our factor tree. 3 to the first indicates 1, 3, and 83 to the first indicates 183. Now, if we had more, uh, more numbers higher than 2, you could just simply uh, the exponent would simply be larger. For instance, if there was another 2, this would simply be 2 to the third. So that's basically how you do prime factors of larger numbers, and in my next video, we're going to use these principles to find the lowest common denominator in fractions. I hope this helps you, and remember, have fun with math kids.